Hey everybody, uh, before you guys get too into this video, I just wanted to let you know this is a two-part video, so this is part one. Uh, I'm going to put up part two as soon as this one finishes saving or rendering, whatever you want to call it. Rocky, stop. Thank you. Um, as soon as the video is, is done, I'm going to go ahead and start part two, but the reason why I broke this up into two videos is because I wanted to give you guys all the action that I could with weed eating, edging, mowing, trimming the bushes, and all the little tips and tricks that I, I do. But I also answered quite a few comments and questions in here. Um, so I didn't want to take from that. I didn't want to take from the action. I didn't want to take from the Q&A. And I didn't want to do a Q&A video. So as we approach different things in the yard, it reminded me of comments and questions that I recently received from you guys. And I went ahead and addressed them. So there's a few comments and questions that do get addressed in part one, and there's going to be some in part two. Plus, we do some backyard mowing because it was just really a gorgeous day. And so I don't want to take all that away from you guys. So I'm breaking it up into two videos about this one will be 30 something minutes. What is it? 30, 32 minutes or so, 33, 34 minutes. And the next video is going to probably be about the same, uh, but hopefully it'll keep your attention. Anyways, thank you guys. And let's get to the video. Let's say you got a DUI and you can't cut grass because you can't drive your truck. What if you blanket your neighborhood with advertisements, flyers, door hangers, mailbox magnets if you got metal mailboxes all throughout like these newer HOAs are doing. Mailbox magnets. They're like little mini, they're like little little um, business cards, but they're magnetic. Um, whatever. Yard signs, street signs, whatever it takes for you to get business, get 10, 15, 20 yards in your neighborhood. Can you do a side hustle with a DUI to pay for your attorney <laughs> uh, without being able to drive? You can, actually. Um, you can use your 42 inch type lawnmower, riding mower, if you pick one up cheap, or maybe you already got one. You can put a little trailer behind it. Um, and tow your equipment right from that. Cruise on down the street and cut grass. As long as you're not crossing any busy highways or four lane roads or anything like that, nobody's gonna give you crap. Cruising around in your neighborhood, you you know, come home from work, however you get to work and come home from work, I don't know. Um, maybe you have a work permit license or something, but whatever, my point is, get it done. If you need to make some extra money to support your family, there are ways to do it and get over uh, roadblocks that may be ahead of you. Maybe you need to make the extra money to support your family because you made a mistake like a DUI. So I'm not trying to bring a joke to somebody's uh, heartache. Uh, sometimes it just happens, right? Um, Doo-doo happens. So either you kick yourself while you're down or you pick yourself up while you're down. Pick yourself up. Get yourself a little trailer. Somehow, some way, little four by eight trailer, something cheap, tow it behind one of these little things. Uh, Yorma in Canada rides a bicycle and he's got a trailer for his bicycle and he throws his uh, Husqvarna all wheel drive push type mower. See, Yorma, you think I don't pay attention to you? I pay attention to you. Uh, he's got the all-wheel drive Husqvarna, I believe it's the Husqvarna, gosh, I hope I'm right. He's got the Husqvarna all-wheel drive lawnmower. He's up in Canada. He comments on just about every one of my videos, um, top-notch lawn care. And he's out there getting it done, right? I'm not saying he has a DUI, but he's getting it done with the means that he has possible, right? Um, people have, I think somebody stole from him. I think his blower broke. Uh, he's had some pretty, he's had some rough times and hey, you know, he's overcoming it. So you can overcome it too and that's, that's what side hustling is all about, you know. I mean, if, if this is your full-time job, you get out there and you do what you got to do. So that's, that's the message today. Um, just got done editing a pretty kick-butt video. Uh, me and the boys riding our mini bikes yesterday at a place called Big Nasty ATV Park in Bloomingdale and that's really a neat place. It's a closed course. It's safe. You pay to get in so 
You know, the only people that are there are like-minded individuals like you. They're not trying to hurt anybody or steal or anything like that. They're out there just having a good time with their family and friends. And you go out there and you can ride. There's tracks, courses, wide open areas, all types of stuff. Uh, really cool. Check that video out. I'll link to it up here. Got some really good information throughout the video with some pretty cool riding videos um, to help make a decision, you know, help you make a decision, give you some information you might you might have questions about if you're thinking about getting into mini bike right riding with you and your family uh so check that out we are going to mow some yards today last few cuts of the season it's uh november 18th thanksgiving's coming up in a few days so we're going to go ahead and um finish a couple yards i need to do some cleanups with now i don't really want to title them fall cleanups but it's fall and we're going to do some cleanups so we'll just see how that works the Honda mower is kicking butt. Remember it was squeaking in a few videos? I went ahead and lubricated it. It was uh, like right right here where metal's kind of touching a little bit. I put a little shot of some WD-40. So it's not squeaking anymore, thank goodness. This thing's kicking butt, man. Any questions on whether or not this thing can bag? I put up a really good fall cleanup bagging video. This thing just vacuumed up them bags, pulverized it, uh, really did a great job in my neighbor's backyards. Really, really a good machine. It's the Honda GCB 190 motor. It's 186 cc, uh, four stroke motor of course. Really cool. Check out the video playlist, I'll link to it right here. And it goes through a demo of this machine, all of its features, and then we did like an hour long review of this machine and we took every single feature that Honda advertised as a selling point and broke it down on how it operates and is it you know worth it or not worth it and you decide I just break it down and I show you every single feature they advertise really a thorough review well deserved on a $600 machine definitely don't want to make a financial mistake so check that out it's pretty cool uh, so we're going to use that today. We're going to use our four mix weed eater, the steel. This is the 100. Um, the 90 and the 100 and I believe the 110 are pretty much the same motors. I did a $15 tune up on all these. So check that video out too. It's a pretty cool video. I love this, this one. This is the regular straight shaft FS100 RX. Uh, what I really, really like about this machine is it's long. It's, you can reach far out. It's got uh, like a three or four inch longer shaft right here, which really does make a huge difference when you're weed eating. I like it a lot. A lot better than the Combi or the 70 that I used to have. Definitely, to me, better. We're going to use the KM90R4 mix uh, Combi for edging with the edger blade. I link to these blades in my video description. I, I'm pounding that into you guys' head because it's really important. This, you know, December, January, February, while you're not mowing, is a great time to pick up your bulk items for the year. Get your weed eater line, get your three pound spool, get a couple three pound spools. I link to them, the 80,000s that I like. Awesome weed eater line. Link, I link to those. So you guys can get those in bulk and that'll get you through 2019 if you get them now. We're going to use the steel, which one is this, KHK, HL100K, it's the same motor that's on my 100 weed eater. It's a 4 mix as well. We did a tune up on this as well. We did a tune up on all of them. The 90 is also a 4 mix. Uh, we did a tune up on this engine as well. We're going to use this today for um, trimming some bushes at the house down the street. I want to go ahead and get her squared away for Thanksgiving and the holiday season. This should be the last time that we have to trim the bushes at her property. So we're going to go ahead and use this today as well. The blower that I use is the Steel BG86 two cycle blower. Um, a comment um, young lady said that the, the blower the mower kicked butt, but the blower appeared to be kind of wimpy. And is it just because it's a smaller blower compared to like a big blower? It is. Um, 
This is one of the most powerful handheld blowers you're going to purchase. It's about 250 bucks. It's really powerful. Um, there are more powerful ones, but the thing about this is your maneuverability. So when you're around cars and like that leaf, that fall cleanup video I just posted, you can see my back goes right along a fence and my chest goes right along the bushes. And so I was squeezing right in there and I'm blowing this out. I would not have been able to do that if I had a backpack blower. Uh, I would have had to come at it at a different angle. Um, so the thing about handhelds is it, it gives you an opportunity to get into tighter places and like the steel BG86 is still plenty powerful enough to get the job done. Now if you're doing you know days and days of leaves, um, parking lots and wide open blowing areas, you'd want to get yourself a nice you know powerful backpack blower to just, just because of efficiency to get it going better. Uh, but when you're like me or, or side hustle people, you're limited on space, limited on trailer, or working out of the bed of your truck, a handheld blower such as this works great, powerful enough, very maneuverable, you can get up to front porches and back patios, and you can, you can work all around without having to work your body because the blower's on your back. You can do everything with your wrist, and that's, that's something kind of neat. So we can cut, edge, trim, do bushes, blow off. We're going to bring our bed sheets because that's where we want the clippings to go. We're going to bring a rake even though we're probably not going to need it because we're going to police up the clippings real good with our bed sheets. Uh, as far as mitts, I used the uh, ethanol free marine gas they call it. I used the steel full synthetic two cycle oil. I got some Echo on the shelf right now, some Echo red armor that I went to a different lawn shop in Blitchton, Georgia to get parts for my Craftsman uh, that I just sold, a 54 inch riding mower. And they, I needed two cycle oil and they didn't have steel, they had Echo and that's fine. So I did that. And then also the Formex gas. Oh, no, the four cycle gas is ethanol free marine gas as well. Ethanol free is really, really super important. Um, somebody asked me in a comment when I had mentioned you can get stable fuel out of this. Somebody said, um, hey, I heard bad things about that. It gums up your carburetor and your, and your float bowl and needle and seat and all that stuff. And what's my experience with it? I have zero experience with stable products because um, I have access to ethanol free gas so I'm not going to be a good source to give you information with regards to stable all I can tell you is people use it it's an additive that's out there it's on the market and I've seen people comment that they have great success putting stable in their fuel uh, to keep it uh, keep their fuel good through winter and also uh, like an ethanol blocker you have experience somebody please comment and just say hey I use stable such and such this is my experience with it you know why do you use it what is it called why do you use it what's your experience with it so people can learn I right, really appreciate that put that in the comments below I really appreciate it helps everybody else out so that's the gas we're going to use uh, the straight gas that we're going to use I already got the 80,000 line spooled up in there in my truck. I keep a spare spool with me. I don't need anything else. Um, what I'll do is I'll bring my garbage can and we'll just go from the bed sheet right into the garbage can. Trim bushes, clippings go on the bed sheet, bed sheet dumps into the garbage can, garbage can dumps into the woods or whatever. Edge, weedy, blow all the stuff in because there's going to be stuff all over the ground you'll see from the trees. From this time of the year and then we'll mow and bag and give her a really good cleanup get her to thanksgiving happy customer she donated all year to the charity as well so i need to let her know our results four thousand three hundred and thirty dollars this year for st jude children's research hospital uh, because of customers like her that that agreed to pay the charity directly uh, and you know that i think that was pretty neat uh, and because of people like you that donated so i really appreciate it so we're good, let's go to work. Let's have a good day. That's the bush we're gonna do uh, right there. That used to be a huge tree that was over the roof. So I did a tree job and Lolly popped it one day and then a year later she said take it down and make it just something there. So, but 
See all this stuff from the trees? This is all the stuff in the edges. You see? See how it all... So I'm going to get all this cleaned up today. Get their yard looking nice for Thanksgiving. What I want to do first, before I do that bush, because I'm going to drop all the clippings onto bed sheets, so I'm not worried about blowing off up there. But while there's no cars in the driveway, we're going to go ahead and do the driveway, get everything blown in for proper bagging with the lawnmower. <laughs> What do you charge extra for doing the extra blow? Nothing. Because the grass really doesn't need to be serviced again until March, technically. So I could charge nothing and do it and get paid for the lawn service, or I can tell them I need extra money for doing a cleanup, and they say, no, thank you. See you, March. I'd rather get the little extra money right now, you know, and have a happy customer, and have my yard in good shape come March. Honda with the bag clean that up real nice showed you guys how to do this a little while back take your sheets and uh, just make a nice little nice little area for the clippings to fall on and make a lot easier when it's up.
Wasn't that easy? This thing, this, 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 that uh, thing. That needs to go. Glad we did the blow off of the driveway first, huh? That made things nice for us to uh, get it all blown in before the car showed up. And especially before this little rain showed up. Everything's nice and clean. And it's all collected in the garbage can. So we'll just leave this here. We'll go ahead and bag the yard. We'll edge first, weed eat, and then we'll go ahead and bag the yard. Hey, you guys know I have... Uh, I had 508 videos, I think, and I've gone through and I put my channel on a diet, like a big time diet. I started removing videos that aren't really relevant to this channel, um, especially now that I have the toy channel, Dan Dan's Boys and Toys. Um, I took some stuff off of this channel to, to thin it out to make every video more relevant for why you're here. So please, this winter. Uh, a lot of people get, um, they go through uh, withdrawals of lawn service videos. I have about 460 videos still uploaded, give or take five or six that may or may not get deleted in the next few days. Um, I have playlists that you could choose from, like a push mower. How many lawns can you mow? with a push mower, you know, what size business can you have? I got a, a 14 day, well, I guess it's 10 or 11 days because off on the weekends, but uh, I did a video series where me and another guy used a Troy built push mower and we went and we did about a hundred yards and we went every day and I showed you the ins and outs of using it. And then the next series after that was that guy was no longer with me and I had the zero turn. And so the same yards, but now one person with a zero turn in comparison to two people with a push mower. And we did that video series. So there are a whole lo lot load, of, a whole load, a whole lot of videos that you guys can check out and watch um, that'll help get you through winter and give you guys some really good information and help prep you for this coming uh, spring. In case you're wondering what direction you want to go with your business. Also, um, I repeat myself often in my videos because we're always getting new subscribers and new viewers and not every viewer or subscriber watches every video I upload. So a lot of people don't understand what I'm doing and they ask repetitive questions. Uh, so I kind of like, you know, let me just take a second here real quick to explain, you know, just real quick. I repeat myself because of the new subscribers and Q and A. A lot of people ask questions and I just kind of answer them in my next video. Uh, we're going to use the blade today to get nice, good, and deep, and clean to help get it longer into spring. Um, edging with a weed eater will do a nice job today, but edging with the blade gets it a little bit deeper, a little bit cleaner, and lasts a little bit longer. Since we won't be back in two weeks, per se, unless she calls, um, you know, we're not gonna be back for two months <laughs> unless she calls, actually three months. Uh, middle of December, middle of January, middle of February until almost four months 
until we're going to be back here unless she calls or unless I just decide to clean her up, do a video, and then maybe charge, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what she wants. I want to get a nice, good, clean edge. get this front yard done lickety split. Cold start. Hasn't been started since last weekend. Question about weed eater shields. She asked me question was taking the shield off I think she was asking why is it bad or something like that all right let me explain I run my line a shield would clip your line right about here I run my line an extra three inches about two clicks more beyond although this might be a little bit longer than what I like it would probably be about here where I run it um, it's a little bit long but I don't remember what I did last, why I had extra line like that. Um, supposedly, this extra line is going to put a lot of stress on your clutch, on your engine, on your shaft, on your gears. Um, if you say so. That's like saying don't weedy tall grass, because then tall, thick grass is going to put extra stress on it as well, right? Um, so I don't worry about that. I've had this machine now three years, I think, 16, 17, and 18. <laughs> um, never had an issue with it. Now, I'm also running 80 thousandths line, which is a thinner line. So that means it has possibly less sling weight. So maybe the thinner line, but longer, um, isn't really stressing the machine any more than shorter line but thicker. See what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't pay attention to that crap. I know the mechanics get super excited when you take your shield off because then you void the warranty. See that B? You guys are about to get stung. Whoa. Uh, I'm about to get stung. Uh, so I don't worry about it. I, I don't, I mean, you know, and I've done it my whole life. I've never replaced a clutch, a shaft, or the gears in anything I've ever owned. I usually just sell the machine and buy brand new because I get tired of the carburetor getting gummed up or something, and I just buy a new one. But uh, never had an issue. But I do use 80 thousandths, I don't use 90 thousandths. Some people use 105, some people use like 130. Um, you start using heavy lines like that, but short, you're stressing the machine probably just as much as I'm stressing the machine. So I take the shield off because it helps my view. I can see better. Uh, that's why I take it off. And I can get the weed eater head in a tighter spot than the weed eater shield will fit, like between air conditioners and houses stuff like that I can I can slip the weed eater head in there and it, it fits um, it's up to you it's your choice I would say my, the responsible thing to say is leave the shield on try to get used to it I don't
had to do one thing all day and that's all I could do, I would choose weed eating. I know you people think I'm crazy. Everybody hates weed eating. I love weed eating compared to anything else. It sets you apart. Right here is about where I like to run my weed eater line. It came down a little. So, right here. This is probably an inch and a half more than the shield. But like I said, I use 80 thousands, not 105, not 90, not 130. So, that probably makes a difference, I don't know. We're making hay here, baby. Tell me about the whistles. The whistles.